So hey guys, it's late night Michi voice again because I'm recording really late and my husband is asleep. The joys of having your living room be your office. <laughs> but today I actually want to talk about character references. So first, for once I know, what is this? What I have to talk about actually has to do with what's on screen. The world's ending. <laughs> I like never do these and I have to keep reminding myself that I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have to just do topic videos. I can like talk about art too. I know it's silly, but sometimes I forget about that. So there'll be times where I'm like, ah, oh, man, I like don't know what to talk about. I don't know what I should do. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute. Why can I, there's something I did recently and I just kind of want to talk about it and I can do that. So yeah. Also, sorry, this video is up late unless you are watching this in the future. You just found me. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, I tried to, I try my best to make videos every Wednesday. But anyway, um, I am currently working on the reference sheet for my hella homebrew D and D tabletop role play thing that I do on the Zodiac Lords channel with my buddies and my husband. And this is the character I play and her name is Dot. So Dot is technically a mermaid. I shouldn't say technically she is a mermaid. It's why she has the gray skin. In this world, because it is hella homebrew, we are technically doing a campaign based off of a world that the Zodiac Lord has completely created. And so I love, 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 love his mermaids and his mermaid lore and the logic in it. And so I remember being like, I really want to make one. And I wanted to make a very strong one. So I have to say this now. So hopefully YouTube doesn't ding it. Uh, no, she does not have the nurples. <laughs> so I didn't do that wrong. She just doesn't have them. And uh, I did box out her junk because she is technically the masculine side of her species. Mermaids in that world do not have males. They have masculine females and normal females. If you want more info, I will have them in the description below because again, they're not my species. But I remember doing that. And so I just wanted to have a little little thing there. So if people are like a little sad, I know some people are super sensitive. So <laughs> no, don't worry. You don't see any details. I didn't do anything naughty. And there isn't actually a naughty version out there. I was going to do a naughty version and then I'm like, eh, there's no real point. <laughs> I don't really want not safe for work art of you. And then, you know, I say that and it's probably going to happen someday, but to each their own. Anyway, um, I want to talk about making references for your characters and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. So <laughs> back views, back views, back views, back views, back views and side views are one of my biggest weaknesses and it's something that I'm not I, I don't do studies enough of I don't do practices enough of I don't really get commissioned to do scenes and stuff like that so I don't really get a lot of work with them and references was always something that uh, I've wanted to do for so long because I have so many characters and if you guys have been around for a while you know that a while ago I did my marked mage bios which was pretty much a character just standing front view with the camera and I talked about the character behind it which I might be bringing those back I know some people are interested in more of my characters and other stories and yada yada but for right now I don't have much planned and so the big reason why I don't do a lot of references for my own characters and it sounds silly but I just don't have the time um references do take me do do take a while for me to make and especially for some of my characters, I want to go really in depth with things. Like, while I am very proud of dots, it still isn't perfect. Uh, there's a lot of things I would love to have added, things I would love to do, and it's just, just didn't have the time because uh, YouTube and making art for myself is not my full-time job. In fact, recently with how YouTube's being, it's not a job at all. Um, before I was making, you know, kind of cool money. And, and now with how things are, I just need to go back to being like, okay, you need to stop thinking that it's an income, Michelle, because it's not. You need to go back into things. And I know, I know that sucks. And um, I normally, if you guys, again, I sound so rambly, but uh, if you guys, you know, do want to support, uh, I do have links in my link tree and other stuff below. I'm um, trying to do better at promoting that. But anyway, anyway, anyway. We always don't have time to make references of all of our characters, you know? We have side jobs or side obligations or other things, and it does take a while. And sometimes we just want to draw our characters doing silly stuff, or we just want to do this and that. But then when it comes down to the point where you're like, oh, I want to commission somebody, or someone's like, oh, I want to draw this, and then you're like, oh, well, I don't have a good enough 
example for them to go off of. Like, I know the character, my friends know the character, but how are they going to know the character? And that's something I'm trying to do more and more with my art is, you know, they always say a very good rule of thumb in like animation and a lot of things is that even with a character standing still, you can sort of tell their personality from the expression on their face to their body language. And those are things that I am still trying to do and I'm doing much better. Uh, back in the day when I was very, very terrible, I could not for the life of me think up references and poses and proper things for my characters. So I remember there was a time, I don't know if anybody else had this, but I would just look up a reference and I would be like, I like that pose. I draw out the pose and then I'm like, hmm, which character am I going to slap on this pose instead of thinking which character would be in this pose? And I think that's something that a lot of people have, you know, and it's also very hard as a commission artist sometimes where people will commission me and they will give me a very generic pose with a very generic expression. I've also done this, so I'm not calling people out, but I'm saying... You know, there have been many, many, many times where the commissioner doesn't tell me that this is a very serious character, this is a very silly character, this is a very shy character, this is an anxious character, this is a scaredy cat character, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't know any of that. And a lot of times, and something that's been bothering me with a lot of my art recently, is because a lot of people don't tell me a lot, and I have had bad experiences in the past. Um, I know people have wanted, like, Commissioner Horror Story videos, and, um, I mean, if you guys really, really want that, I'll, like, dig through stuff and do some, but I've only had a small handful of really bad commissioners. Most of my commissioners are very nice. But anyway, um, you know, where it ends up being, like, I'll draw a character in a very generic pose and a very generic expression, and then I find out that, like, oh, they're actually this, or oh, they're actually that, or... Or one of my biggest ones is, oh, their body type is actually this. Because there was a time where I, myself, I couldn't draw different body types. I'm still rusty, but I am getting better at being able to draw more body types. Dot is another perfect example. She is technically an Arctic mermaid. And uh, the Zodiac Lord, sorry. <laughs> I'm, he's my friend, so I'm used to calling him by his name. But uh, the Zodiac Lord told me how, like, in that part of the world the arctic mermaids are based off of more whales so they are thicker chubbier they're fatter you know and they're stronger which is what i wanted i wanted a strong character because all of our characters revolve around a circus and so i remember being like okay i've got to like i have to thicken out your neck i have to thicken out your arms i gotta thicken up your legs i gotta give you some chubbo you know and she is not fast but she is very strong and that is also something i wanted to put out there you know and some people might try to debate, like, oh, are you saying that fat people can't run or whatever? And as a bigger person, uh, we can run, just not very long. <laughs> you know, it all depends on the person. You gotta get, you gotta get in shape and everything. But anyway, that's the point of this video, and I'm rambling. Oh my god. So, <laughs> anyway, that's something that I'm trying to do more with my art with different characters. You know, there are certain characters that I've practiced, and even though they're my characters, I still can't draw them the way I see them in my head. And honestly, forcing myself to do these references and to do things have been more helpful. And it's one of those things where I constantly sit back and I think back, you know, I was so scared of failure. I was so scared of making it look bad that I just wouldn't do it. I, I, I would do the self-fulfilling prophecy. And that's why I feel like a lot of my art isn't where I want it to be now and why I am pushing through it, even though it is hard. It is very hard, okay? I'm not saying it is, like, you know, a super inspirational, like, mm, it just, come on, guys, we can do this. Yes. Yeah, no, it's hard. It's hard and it sucks. And no one likes to make something that looks bad, you know? And, again, I look at the reference now, watching back as I'm, as I'm doing these audio, and there are still a lot of things I, mm, I'm not very proud of. But you know what? I'm not fully proud of how the anatomy is but I am proud of this piece and I do know that it's not perfect and some of the anatomy is wonky and I need more practice and that's the bigger thing and that's why I'm happy I did it I also did something where for her back view I did the back view of her in her clothes what I would often do is I would do back views of characters who you know they were naked because a lot of references I would usually do would be characters who have like 
you know, tattoos or uh, fur markings or just markings in general or just tidbits and that. And I remember looking at it and I'm like, Dot's design is pretty simplistic. You know, besides her, like, uh, her dot on her head and her swirls, she doesn't really have them anywhere else. And I would think, like, it would just go all around her body. So I, I was hoping that's kind of self-explanatory when I did her Nike version. <laughs> and, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you don't really need a Nike back view, but I could use a back view of your clothes because I always saw her little, I don't know how to describe it, her, like, half skirt thing that I, <laughs> that I designed um, as, like, a little nod to the fact that she's a mermaid. It, like, supposed to look like a tail. It's also why I made it, like, white on the inside, but dark gray on the, uh, on the, no, white, <laughs> white on the outside, dark gray on the inside, stumbling over my words like always, but it's just those little things, you know, and I'm like, oh, my people probably wouldn't get that's what it's supposed to be if I didn't do the back view, and so that's something I'm gonna try to do more with my character references. Obviously, they're not gonna happen often, because they do take a while, but I told myself that I'm going to redo a lot of things that I was scared of doing. There are a lot of things that I'm gonna push myself out of so that I can do better with my art and grow because it's one of those things where I look back and I'm like wow when I actually started pushing myself and getting out of my comfort zone my art was improving it looked bad but it was improving because I was improving in the proper ways and that's something I think everybody should do so even if you're worried and you're scared trust me a lot of people can read reference sheets very well even if the art isn't the top tier and you can get a lot off of it and I think that's just, you know, something you should do. And that's it. That's my video. <laughs> that's all I can think of right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed my ramble and tangents and my blah -de blah And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.